Hello, everybody. How y'all doing? I hope you're doing well. Yeah, I know I desperately need a shower. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm wearing my glasses I usually wear for um, um, uh, when I'm doing like really close up work and so forth. Um, but anyway, um, I wanted to, and I'm not going to be up here for very long because I've got to go run and get. Little Miss Possum some food. And she's sitting over there. Mommy, I'm waiting. <laughs> yeah. So anyway. All right. Um, I wanted to pop up here because uh, I have definitely made some decisions about things. Um, and it's, uh, at least one of those decisions I'm not going to share on here. But I can tell you that it is something, um, I've had an interest in this ever since I was a kid, really. Um, I've even been told that I should do it, <laughs> even as a kid. And I'm talking, I was like about six, seven years old or something. Um, and I have kind of dabbled in it over the years or whatever, but I really wasn't, I don't know, I, I, I just wasn't too sure on which direction to go and so forth. But over the years, um, I, I was, I had seriously considered doing this. Um, but, and I have started doing it. I know it's kind of difficult to talk without actually revealing it. And I have my reasons why I'm not going to be revealing it. Um, here anyway and very few people are going to know about it as far as I'm concerned um and I have my reasons why um anyway I I, I started I last year I had um uh, actually started doing it when I was hospitalized with uh, being diagnosed with diabetic um actually I think just before or something I don't remember, but anyway, I, I um, know I had taken it with me uh, to work on it, and I uh, really started diving in at that point, and I kind of have worked on it uh, off and on over the last year, um, And but I, the main reason why I had stopped is because I wasn't too sure if because of what I'm doing it can um, be a bit on the negative side. On the one hand, it can be very inspiring for a lot of people. But at the same point, it, it can also be very negative. So big question is, do I really want to spread that? Um, but I also know how, like I said, I know how inspiring it can be. Um, so and that's kind of the twist that I was going to be putting on it um in the end so anyway um but ultimately and i and here lately i've just been getting called getting called and getting called but at the same point i'm like yeah it's going to take time i mean a lot of time a lot of my energy and so forth um and at the same time i definitely wanted to you know see about pursuing uh, the the um coaching path and so forth um you know getting the yoga certification, Tai Chi certification, that, that certification, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, the, this is, you know, and of course I had my issues there and so on and so forth. Uh, so yeah, there's, there's been a lot going through my head and I had even considered, all right, you know what, just, just, um, be satisfied where you're at in life and move forward. I, that's not me. <laughs> I can't do it. I mean, yeah, it is. I had to, I had to come to terms with that. I'll be the first to admit it. You know, I'm getting a horrible glare. Deal with the dark circles, people. Um, yeah, I, um, I was, uh, yeah, so that's what I mean. Um, you know, being back and forth quite a bit and so forth. And I'm just like, how do I proceed and, 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 and so forth. Um, but, and I did seek out, um, outside counseling 
not, not a therapist or counseling, um, but an outside source, we'll just say, of um, getting to get some guidance um, on which way to proceed. And that was kind of different than what I expected. What really wound up popping back at me is um, some other things that um, I had kind of let go or whatever, but came back around. And I determined, oh, okay, maybe there was some still some uh, feelings there that uh, were still buried deep or what have you. And it's like, okay. Let's take care of that. Um, and also, oh, there was another situation, too, that I had talked to them about um, that I wasn't too sure <laughs> of either. And, um, and again, some feelings came back around and had to resolve. But I made the whole thing with everything, though, is ma making peace, making peace with these situations, um, making peace with where I'm at right now, because I know I'm going to be here for a while. But I also know that I'm in the right place at the right time. This is where I need to be right now. Um, you know, at least with work, um, because it does... It does give me that space that I've been needing with doing, you know, the, the with giving the rides to people, doing the ride sharing. I mean, yeah, the money's better, but unfortunately, I'm constantly being bombarded and, and, and being distracted. And with what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to need to be able to dive deep. I don't mind being distracted. I don't mind, you know, having friends in my life and so, you know, uh, so on and so forth and everything. Um, you know, basically having people in my life, but I need to have p more, more of the s sorts of people that I feel close to who understand me. Okay. Um, that's what I'm trying to say, because with what I'm going to be doing is it's going to, it's going to require me to be in a lot of solitude so you may or may not see me up here <laughs> as often because of it um and and don't get me wrong gosh I need a shower uh, it's like gosh my hair is just nasty oh well like I care um but anyway um you know and I, of course you know I don't mind making new friends you know and I actually uh um here soon um a cousin that I've never met uh, I think she's like a second cousin or a third cousin twice removed or so, one, so one of those confusing sorts of family tree situations uh, is going to be coming into town uh, here soon. And I'm actually looking forward to meeting her. She seems like a really cool person. Um, so um, it's, she's like mother's, mother's, father's, brother's, son's daughter. Follow that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But she's a real cool person and everything, and um, it's it's gonna um, um, be uh, yeah. I definitely am looking forward to meeting her. We only just uh, found out about each other a few years ago. Um, I know recently she was uh, actually in uh, uh, Arizona meeting um, um, one of her cousins, basically my aunt. <laughs> I know that side of the family tree is very confusing. <laughs> You'd have to, we'd have to have a sit down in order to really comprehend that whole history. But anyway, um, so yeah, it's um, um, I'm I'm looking forward, you know, to to her and everything. But that's the thing with what the path that I'm going to be going down. I don't, I'm, I need more of that sort of stable energy. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Not, you know, um, I, you know, like I said, I don't mind having new people in my life. I don't mind, you know, 
um, uh, of course, having my old friends and, and family and so forth in my life. But as far as the constant bombardment with what I was dealing with, with, with doing the ride sharing work, um, it's, it's, you know, basically the same conversations that I've been having with people for the last 13 years. It's all like that chaotic energy, um, you know, with, with, with the, the strip and the downtown area and so on and so forth, you know, you know, all of that. Oh gosh. Oh, please go away. You know, I'm, I'm trying to do something that's a little bit more serious here or whatever, you know? Um, <laughs> And don't get wrong, I enjoy having fun. Yeah, we all have to cut loose and so forth. But when you're dealing with that sort of energy on a constant basis, it, it's it's dr draining, okay? We all need that, that, that alone time hermit energy, you know, be able to recharge and so forth and, and get ourselves grounded and everything. And when you're dealing with and, and with it on a constant basis, with at least with the deliveries, you know, it's like okay, I go, I I um, might have to sit in the drive through for a, a while, um, if it's after um, after hours, you know, with the lobbies being closed, you know, I I, I go, I pick it up, and and I'd have to say probably ninety eight percent of ninety eight ninety nine percent of the orders, it's instructions to just leave it at the door. I do that and I take off. I have my all that alone time. Yeah, I do live in a roommate situation and everything, but I'm working nights. There's very little contact. Um, sometimes, you know, there might be, you know, during the day or what have you uh, every once in a while. But for the most part, it's like, yeah, I'm, I have that that I need. So, um is it's yeah like I said with this path that I'm going to be going down, um, and I I I, I ha got that enlightenment last last night. It was like I was fairly certain that I was going to do it, but I was going to do some readings. Uh, I was going to do kind of a different kind of reading uh, because I felt like I had like four choices um, in front of me, and I was going to do a reading for each of those choices. But I kept getting this uh, feeling that the two. Um, were going to be intertwined. So, and, and then, um, last night I, I just, I didn't get much sleep the night before. Um, and I was feeling really tired. So I, um, uh, lay down, took a nap yesterday afternoon when I woke up, it was just like, wow. Um, as I had this dream about flooding and I was driving through um this flood on top of a parking garage of all places it was torrential downpours and it was flooding the the parking garage was flooding and I just felt like and there were some other things that happened before in the dream but I felt like it was more of a cleansing situation because it was flooding and I was driving through it but it was also um uh clearing out and it's like okay yeah definitely all that cleansing and everything just clicked. So, and I, um, uh, today I was going to say about, uh, possibly still doing those, um, for readings, but I just kept feeling even last night. I'm like, no, I feel very secure in with this path that I'm going to be going down. And this, I decided, Okay, I went ahead and pulled the decks that I was going to use, um, but ultimately I just wound up focusing on the one path because I felt very strongly about it. And I was just really pulled um, with that to um, basically get guidance to see. And base and and it's a Celtic cross reading that I use with the with that deck in particular, and I was drawn to do that, and uh, it's like yeah I understand the reason why because the outcome card was actually the devil card and I was just like what <laughs> why am I being so and then and then I I started doing the inner inner work and so forth and 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 really tapping into my intuition and everything I'm like okay. I understand because the devil card is, is, uh, of course, you know, it's that Capricorn energy. It's ruled, ruled by Capricorn. 
Um, and of course, we just had the full moon in Capricorn. Uh, you know, all that energy with that whole entire cycle with having t uh, two moons in Capricorn there. And uh, it, uh, it it's also a card uh, about breaking those ties that bind. So this is, with this project I'm going to be doing, it's going to be clearing out even more energy, uh, even, even more things with myself. And it's going to free me even more to be able to go down the other path. That's why the two are so, well, intertwined. Um, so yeah, I understand it. So anyway, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, I know I did have, to, yeah, it, we've, we've had a lot of fires around here. I don't know where they're coming from. I don't know where they're at. And last night with the, uh, 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 we had a storm cell that was moving in. Um, I don't know if it really ever did anything around uh, here all that terribly much, <clears throat> excuse me, as far as rain uh, or uh, was concerned, but I know, uh, well, I, I heard the um, uh, announcement come on the radio from the National Weather Service about a storm cell uh, that was up around Moapa uh, Valley of Fire area and it had dumped um, or was in the process of dumping, I'm not really too sure which, uh, 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 three quarters to a full inch of rain within an hour. So it was a, a flash flood warning. And it was definitely hitting the north side of town. I wound up dropping off a delivery up there, <clears throat> excuse me, last night. And woo, the winds and the lightning. It was like, wow, I love it. I'm, so, I'm such a weather nerd. I can't help it. I love it. So yeah, um, but I went offline came back down south. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try to be close to home just in case. <laughs> I'm like, let me get out of North Town. It's not the greatest place in the world to uh, be anyway. So let me just come down south. <laughs> and, um, uh, yeah, I, I, I um, definitely um, made sure I stayed on this side of town just in case. And it was Pretty quiet, you know. It was a little bit of um, wind, um, but no, no big deal or whatever. So, anywho, um, yeah, it, 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 I don't know. Like I said, I don't know where the fires are right there. I just keep smelling smoke. Just keep smelling smoke, and I, I have to be taking the allergy stuff every single day because of it. So anyway, um, yeah. Um, I just wanted to pop up here and let you all know the decisions I made. And I, as far as the um, the the um, coaching path is concerned, you know, uh, um, I have a lot of good ideas generating with that and everything. It's I think it's going to be awesome, but I've got to do this first. I have to do this. I know that. Um, not because oh, spirits telling me right that I had to do this for, for me. Or, or you know, and it is it because of cleansing or this or anything? This is just something I have to do for me. So here we go. I'm excited about it. I really am. I really, really am. Um, a little bit nervous um, because of what it's dealing with. Yeah, um, but I also know that I'm protected, and what is going to happen is I don't want to say what's going to happen is going to happen but I know I'm protected and everything's going to be fine so it's like all right let's do this I know I'm excited so I hope this is inspiring for some some people sometimes you know it, it's better to slow things down and really do some soul searching and thinking and so forth before you uh, t take those leaps of faith and I was actually just um, pondering whether I should go down the journey of doing the coaching or not um, so with constantly getting the messages about this other thing um, and I'm just like no 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 but ultimately it was like all right and sometimes you have to, I know I have a tendency to look away, but it helps me think, 
um, somebody who stares off into Neverland when thinking. <laughs> I'm not looking at anything particular. I'm just thinking most, mostly, you know, generating what I'm trying to say, what I'm thinking in my head, basically. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, <coughs> sometimes, um, which just going inward, doing the inner work and so on and so forth. And, and just taking your time with things, you know, the solution will reveal itself. That's what he's trying to come through or the right thing for you will come through for, for you. Okay. So anyway, um, try that. Especially if you're somebody like me who's pondering some stuff. All right. So I hope this helps you. And I hope that you all have a fantastic day. And um, think before you leap. <laughs> or maybe not so much think. Get this together. That's basically what it boils down to. Get your head and your heart together. That's what matters. Get that alignment together. And you do that by doing the inner work, clearing, and so on and so forth. All right. All right. I love you all. I'll talk to you all soon.